Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Private Stock 6 Ply K95 Face Mask. This is a set that we bought from Saks Fifth Avenue. And here is a listing. Like I said, these are a 6 ply face mask and there is a, mo a common misconception that the more layer a mask has, the better the mask is, which is not necessarily true. We have tested 3 ply face masks that can achieve 98 or 99 fil filtration and have also seen 6 layer masks that don't meet the requirements. So going back to the listing, these do cost $25. The website doesn't really have any reviews. And also one thing that I didn't find on their listing or on their packaging is the GB2626 dash something. So I don't know what standard they follow. The packaging is very nice. They do come in a magnetic box and they also come individually wrapped. Let's go ahead and take a look at these really quick before we run them through our TFI machine. They have a soft silk outer layer. The nose wire is actually not too bad. It's not very flimsy. So let me go ahead and try this on and see how they fit on my face really quick. Okay, so they are very large. <laughs> but like I said earlier, this is a six layer mask and, and I feel like it does have quite a bit of collapse. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these tests on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample had a 98.1% filtration efficiency and a pressure drop of 17.1 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration efficiency of 98.50 and a pressure drop of 17 millimeters of water. As you guys saw from the TSI test results, these masks are within the K95 standard, but like I said, I don't really know which one they follow since it's not on their packaging or on their listing. And they did test well in terms of breathability and filtration efficiency. However, we do typically like to see masks to specifically bifold K95s with uh, no more than 12 millimeters of water. The max allowable pressure drop is 210 pascals, and these are about 170, so they're getting close to it, but like I said, these are within the K95 standard. The quality and the packaging is pretty good, but these are on the pricier side. Like I said, these were $25 for five piece, so basically $5 a piece, $5 a piece, which is also a little bit on the higher side for K95s. So if you are looking for the looks and comfort these might not be a bad choice but there's definitely a lot more breathable and higher uh, filtration efficiency k95s out in the market so i really hope that you guys found this video helpful please let me know what masks we should test next or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator please make sure to look at the description box down below we're going to be having our address along with our website and our master testing data sheet please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video